some days as an artist you don't get to spend your days making you sometimes well actually oftentimes you have to spend the days doing stuff and today was one of those days in my studio my name is lily i'm a ceramicist in london i have a brand called may ceramics and i make functional pottery today in the studio was a funny day I am going away next week and I simply just have some shit to get done before I go. I started the day with a coffee and importantly a to-do list. Days like this demand a list from me. I'm useless without a list man. I'm just unhinged without a list. So along with my coffee and my list, I started the day with a little tidy. It's been messy in my studio. I have been making plates for a commission, video on that very soon, and they've just finished drying out on my flat table. So I need to get them out of the way before I start doing the rest of my jobs. So now the plates are safe on the shelf and the studio is not a bomb site. I can get to getting my work actually done. Firstly, I need to unload the kiln. These candlesticks are made for my wedding and they're gonna be sitting on the tables. They have been bisque fired a couple of days ago and they need to be glazed and reloaded into the kiln today. In the middle of any workday there are distractions and this is a little cat that comes to distract me pretty often. Uh, I think it's a little stray uh, so sometimes I give it a little snack but I really can't be sure so I don't give it too many snacks. It's like quite scared of me so I don't know it always takes a little bit of warming up. Uh, there was also a, uh, a little spider here in the window. I'm trying to be an adult about it and not be scared of spiders anymore. I'm facing my fears and I've decided that spiders aren't scary anymore. So instead of getting it squashed in the window frame, the spooky little baby has gone outside with my little cat friend. Important little tea interlude and now back to the list. It is time to start glazing the candlesticks. I just mix the glaze up, mix it well, dip the candlesticks in, top up the little finger marks and sponge off the base. I have to do that 30 times. An hour or so later, I am reloading the kiln. Uh, you can watch this video here to see how I load a glaze kiln. Um, as always, I need to kind of play around with how to best load it. In two days, I'll be able to see how these little candlestick babies look. Like any good plan, we've got to see some changes. Nothing, I think, is linear, especially these weird studio days. I've decided that I won't be going to a market that I had planned to go to next weekend. I don't really have enough time to like prep before I'm going away. So sometimes you just have to change a plan and that's that. I did an online shop update this weekend and I'm shipping the last of my packages out this afternoon. I just need to go online, book the postage and print off their labels. So today's plan includes a trip to the post office and it includes mopping the floor. Uh, pro tip, anyone working with clay in a cold climate, girl, get yourself a dehumidifier. Everything will change. Get a good one. I'll be honest with you, mopping should be an everyday job, but I'm a little bit lazy and it happens a lot less often than that. But when I mop, oh my god, what a feeling. Right, mopping is done, glazing is done, packages are ready, kiln is on. I'm not going to bore you with the line to... I think probably everyone's been in that situation before. And that's it, I'm gonna go home, spend the night with my cat, 
It's Christmas time, so we're just hanging out by the Christmas tree, working on a project which I will announce to you very soon. Here we are a few days later with the candles and I'm real happy with them. I think they're gonna look amazing at the wedding. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm at may.ceramics and I upload a new video here on YouTube every two weeks. So I will see you in a couple of Sundays time. Bye.